Hello everybody, this is Thon Thon here. Welcome back to my channel. Following my hot rod, my cup, and my fossilizer Paleo Trex review, many of you ask me if this figure are still having any hidden features. So today I'm gonna answer some of that questions for you. So I don't feel like this is a talk show, but I, th I mean like this is the best way I will be able to categorize it because this is not actually a review or anything. And also this is not a swift transform so i think by adding the name talk show you would like it so now let's begin with hot rod about the studio series hot rod as you can see i have a few thoughts on this guy the first is these two holes over here so the fact that these holes are not used in any of this mode see this is hollow at the robot mode it's not in use and of course the vehicle mode are also not in use but I will show you in the vehicle mode later so this is not used so my prediction that if they're gonna make a Rodimus upgrade this might be the pack for the upgrade part to form in in the shape of this like just the same as Ultra Magnus but then one thing I'm really curious about will be the feet because as you see this feet cannot hide in when you combine like this so one other theory is that you actually going to do it like this I don't know it might this is the first time I'm doing it on camera so so something like this might be the case so at this form here the feet will be completely folded in so they would rather have him showing out the wheels I don't know that is only my prediction uh, that is enough for the leg the body I don't think there will be much of a change because the shoulders are quite short and I don't think there's much change can be made. If something changed, I hope that a head, sc uh, the head sculpt, an older looking hot rod head sculpt, my do the job. About the arms, this is quite interesting. So in, I have think about a few ways that this can be upgraded into the bigger arms of Rodimus, because as you all know, Rodimus is bigger than hot rod. So the first way I configuration is they might be doing something like this. And then the this hole will actually hold the healthy arm unit and then one tap in here so make the arms a little bit longer about this size about this long over and that is one theory the other theory is just quite similar but then this is a neater way to do it is by swapping this out and you actually form the hands back in and then you close it like this in my opinion this would be neater because it is you cannot see the arms and it's easier to connect but then that will be tricky for this size of the arm because this guy, this size got a tool. So I think this is the configuration that the Rodimus upgrade kit will be looking look like. So I'm just gonna finish this. So I think like uh, something like this will be ready for the Rodimus upgrade part and of course we will still have his trailer as in the masterpiece version the Rodimus Prime so we got the trailer as a battle station and then some upgrades onto him that will look really nice and that is my prediction about hot rod now let's move to the vehicle mode so upon transforming back into the vehicle mode as you can see this no these two holes here aren't serving any purpose this fin is not tapping in and they're not fit as seen so i'm quite confusing so here's my theory the theory will be this release will be a separate release and then they're gonna do another release considering the trailer and the option part to combine into rodimus prime and his battle station because we have seen this before we have earthrise optimus and the trailer and also the trailer former station so my theory is that there will be ports for him to upgrade his the length of his arm and leg and then a new gun in replacement of his two guns and then you get another face sculpt i hope and a darker deep change of color paste just like with the netflix optimus which i have reviewed before so that is about hot rod and now let's move to the uh, other subject about cup the question is when you see his gimmick of removing his arms and leg is that will this tap fit into the parts former of the Siege and Kingdom and Earthrise and the answer will be yes. So today I have six gun over here. These are some poses. I'm gonna try. 
so this is actually fit but it's quite loose it is depending on the figure itself because this uh, kind of tab is a little bit too long too short in my sorry too short for the connection as you can see I'm comparing this to over here obviously six gun is a little bit longer but I mean you can still do it like something like this and now he got a red boots I mean this is still a fine displayment option or playing option if you're into it but in my opinion nah this is I think this is solely for the gimmick of playing with the feature the figure itself rather than a official confirmation but since you guys want to know this is my answer and if that answer is yes you can play with him with the platformer but that is not really good because the one thing problem is that Cup color is the first in this line. We haven't got any transformer that match his color in a like precise way. So I don't think that is a letdown. So but then if you are into customization, you can always do this and paint the figures in some other colors you would want to. So that it is for Cup and now let's move on to the new fossilizer figures. About the final figures, which is the fossilizer parallel tracks. The first thing I want to talk about that I forgot in the review is that he got this hidden tabs over here. Yes, you can flip it out and it will be this thing can be used as like a gun I don't know but then this shows the potential of him being a combining agents for the other fossilizers and that is it he can you already know the review so check out that review right now and one other thing I want to talk about this guy will be his ability to combine with the other fossilizer figures because in my opinion this get all this parts forming then they must have a scratch out for a combining agent so I think that that could be possible and the other thing is that if you look at the names of these guys on the catalog you can notice that this guy's paleo tracks you got a wing flyer and then you got a raptor knight so in my prediction is that this guy is a t-rex wing flyer will be like some um, pterodor raptor and then raptor knight will be a raptor which is the first three fossilized fossils they found in the beast war and then they transform into the fossilizers so that is a really nice thought because i think that they are recreating this whole peaceful thing so that could be it for my videos today i hope you enjoyed it and found something new about these figures that might encourage you to start saving money or like pre-ordering them when you got a chance and feel free to check out my other reviews of this guy i will put all the links in the description section below if you are new subscribe to my channel and follow me on instagram and the final thing is, is that if you are feeling like you can help me out with the future figures feel free to buy me a coffee down in the description below and that could be it for today guys turn out